All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. A little less depressed today. I hope you guys are as well after the last two losses. But before I get into today's video, guys, I'm 25 subs away from 2,000. Appreciate it so much to all my subscribers right now. I mean, you guys are the reason I'm here right now. So I, words truly cannot describe all 1,975 of you guys. You guys are all just beautiful man you, you support me every video every day even if it's a bad video you guys the law is unbelievable man I, I gotta figure out a way that i can repay you guys because it, it changed my life out here but anyways let's get into today's video i kind of want to talk about some vocal points i believe that the houston rockets could get better i feel like when i first made my channel i had a lot of opinions on on the rockets and, and kind of like the way I wanted things to go, and I feel like in the last couple of, of weeks with that whole James Harden trade, haven't really been able to get back to that. But now that it's we've played 25, have we played 25? Are we 11 and 13? Whatever, we're about at the quarter mark of the season, and I got to be honest with you guys, I, I don't think that this is the squad. The way we're playing right now, we are not a championship roster. There's nothing wrong with that. But there, there are just some things that need to happen going forward, in my opinion, to at least ensure the Houston Rockets' long-term success, or at least longevity. Number one, and I, I ran it about this for probably the whole video last night, but P.J. Tucker, um, you know, you just can't have a guy starting. You cannot have a guy starting and scoring zero points. It's it just no matter who you are, even if you're Draymond Green, maybe on lesser Draymond Green, but still, Draymond Green needs to score more than zero points if, if you know, he wants to give the Warriors a, the best chance. Unless he's going 10 rebounds, 10 assists, three blocks, three steals, you, you kind of get my point. So what I see we got to do is immediately trade P.J. Tucker. He was unhappy about his contract extension not you know, being formed before the season, and he's 35, turning 36. He hasn't really given the Houston Rockets a reason to extend him. He's averaging less than five points per game, less than five rebounds per game, less than two assists per game, and his defensive categories, the stats aren't aren't they're not good enough. They're not they're not in like the double digit. They're not twos. <laughs> so. The way I see it, we got to trade P.J. Tucker, and I love P.J. Tucker. I want P.J. Tucker to, and this is really the only, I mean, he's 35, guys. The only threes he really shoots and is moderately good at is corner threes, but he's still, I think, 15 to 20 minutes role player on a championship team. I really think he could help them get to that next level. I really do. He's important. P.J. Tucker is very important in the playoffs. I would love to see him go to a contender. I would even just take just a super young dude who hasn't done anything in the NBA or even just two second round picks. I just want to get P.J. Tucker off this team because the problem is, guys, he's playing way too many. He's playing over 25 minutes per night every night. He's getting over 30 most as well. So why not take those minutes and give them to guys who also deserve them, but Jay Sean Tate, Sterling Brown, Mason Jones. We want to give these young guys, Mason Jones, Jay Sean Tate, especially them, but we even guys like David Nwaba, Sterling Brown, even Daniel House, as much crap as I've given Daniel House, this is what a PJ trade would open up, is these guys would, it frees up so many more minutes. And now we can go through the rest. PJ's not helping us win games, guys. So there's no reason for him being starting. Give his minutes to Jay Sean Tate, Sterling Brown, Mason Jones, David Nwaba. Give it to everybody else for the rest of the year and see. Okay, we'll have so we'll have a much better understanding at the end of the at the end of the year if we trade away PJ Tucker and give all these guys deserving minutes because. It'll be like, okay, now we know because Jay Sean Tate was getting 30 minutes a night and he averaged 13 points and six rebounds to end the season. So now we know Jay Sean Tate is not only a valuable role player, but he could potentially lead to something better. 
Guys like Sterling Brown, David Nwaba, are these role players that we want on our team. This is their opportunity to kind of showcase their skill. And Sterling Brown and Jay Sean Tate, they've been doing that all season. They've been playing great all season. Yeah, they'll have some bad nights. These are young guys, man. These are guys who need more opportunities than a 35-year-old man who can't score a, a point on some night. That's ridiculous. So that's what I got to see. Number two, I thought this was pretty interesting. I saw, and I haven't heard any really rumors, no reports about this. John Wall obviously, you know, kind of nipped any trade talks in the bud because his contract is very poor. He's coming off an injury. But I just thought this is something, I, if you guys want to comment about this, I, I thought it was interesting. Like Kemba Walker for John Wall swap, I think that would be insane. And I think that would really help out both teams like I honestly think Kemba Walker to the Rockets obviously we would love that but I mean uh, what's John Wall to the Celtics I'm not a fan of Kemba Walker being on the Celtics team I don't think that they go anywhere in the playoffs like by anywhere I mean the NBA finals Kemba Walker he's never proven to me outside of college that he can knock down those clutch points when he needs to or clutch shots when he needs to or even just have an all-around good game when it matters most so something to play around with kind of interested to see what you guys have to say but i'll end the video on this victor oladipo guys my my biggest concern is that there's going to be a team out there that's willing to pay victor oladipo 25 million 27 million 30 million even possibly more than 30 million you never know there's a lot of stupid teams in the nba i mean Timothy Mozgov got a four-year, $64 million deal, however many years ago that was. There are so many bad con- – I love how that was the only bad contract I could think of. But there have been so many bad contracts. And team – I feel like a team would take a risk on Victor Oladipo. He'll be 29, maybe 28. I don't know when his birthday is, but he's 28 right now. The problem with us is if – Victor Oladipo is the best player on our court. And the worst part is, is Victor Oladipo isn't even playing like Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo is playing almost like a worse Eric Gordon. And that is a major issue. But even if Victor Oladipo was playing as, you know, let's say 22, 5 and 5 even, Victor Oladipo being our best player, it's not great for this season because the the... We don't have enough talent unless Christian Wood. I mean, obviously Christian Wood's having an incredible year, but the only way I see here, I'll I'll reiterate because that was a little confusing. After this year, if we pay Victor Oladipo thirty million dollars, twenty five million, even the thing is, John Wall, Victor Oladipo, Christian Wood, that back court, or not back court, that our cornerstone guys are you know, main three players, they'll be making over $80 million in one year. And that is, that, that's not, (laughs) it's not good because our top three players are John Wall, Victor Oladipo and Christian Wood. So I'm not trying to knock them, but the way Victor Oladipo is playing right now is not convincing me to give this guy more than $25 million for any reason past this year. And I was already on the fence. I love Victor Oladipo. No team has ever stuck with him. I think Victor deserves to either be on a championship team or a team where it's at least, all right, this is your team or a young up-and-coming team. I don't know where he would fit like that. That's why I would I, I would love to see Victor Oladipo on the Miami Heat or on just any contender even past this year, even if we don't deal him. So I'm not calling for a trade for Victor Oladipo, but I think – Something to look into would be a possible Tucker and Victor Oladipo to the Miami Heat type of deal. I think that I think that just is perfect right there. So Victor Oladipo, I'm just not sold on him quite yet just because it doesn't help that he's not playing good basketball right now, but also he's just... That's a lot of that eighty million for that backcourt. I mean, or for that, I keep saying that eighty million for that big three. I love Christian Wood, but he's making the less amount of money, the least amount of money of those three players, and he's arguably the statistically, especially, but he should be the guy we're focused on. I mean, he's averaging the best stats. He's 
going to be the most improved player. This is the guy we need to commit to. 